14,000 patients who are waiting for a life-saving transplant. More than 2,000 are right here in Wisconsin. This morning, we not only recognize their strength and courage, but we also honor the hundreds of Wisconsin donors and donor families that have so selflessly given the gift of life and healing through organ, tissue, and eye donation. Today, we're thankful to welcome Dawn Lyons-Wood, who will share her experience about her daughter's organization, her daughter's organ donation, here in just a moment. Dawn. Thank you. I recall last year we were out here and it was a group much like this and as I started to talk, a helicopter went overhead, which normally catches me off guard and makes me stop in my tracks. And if anybody remembers last year, it totally changed for me that moment. I didn't think of it as something so awful. I thought of it as something wonderful that maybe there was another organ donor in that in the helicopter that was giving life to somebody else. I continue to feel like that now and I see helicopters. So happy National Donate Life Month. Um, the first of the month is always a hard day for me as Emily passed on the first and I have an angel friend who recognizes that every month and she is here today. Um, I wanna thank my friends and family. My parents just surprised me by driving this morning. I've got some of my best friends here, so thank you all for the love and support that you guys give me on this journey. Thank you to the Beaver Dam Community Hospital, UW Organ and Tissue Donation, and Donate Life Wisconsin for taking a moment to recognize the importance of this day, as well as the number of people waiting for life-saving organs. Rebecca, you and your department save people like me on a daily basis, so thank you. To me, raising the flag represents the gifts that donors much like my daughter Emily and their families have given to organ tissue and cornea recipients. These gifts provide a second chance of life. These gifts provide healing from pain so that recipients can enjoy life with their family and friends. It gives them a chance to live life to the fullest and be an active member of their communities. My daughter Emily passed in a tragic snowmobile accident in March of 2015 at the age of 19. At 16, Emily had the foresight to agree to be a donor while getting her driver's license, as well as sign the online registry. On March 2nd, she was able to perform her last selfless act and save the lives of six people, gave sight to two others in Wisconsin, and improved the lives of over 60 people in 22 different states with her donation. It is exactly what she would have wanted. Of course, this is not the life path that we were expecting. I want my physical daughter back and to have her grow old and have a family of her own. But try as I may, I cannot change the events that took place. However, when life takes a turn, I believe you have two options, give up or give it your all. When Emmy agreed to be an organ tissue and cornea donor, she not only gave a gift to her recipients, she also gave a gift to us. She allowed us to focus on something positive and try to make sense of what happened. She allowed us to have some of the most compassionate, caring, giving people enter our lives. She created an amazing support system for us. She allowed us to help change the lives of others and become more caring and loving individuals as well. She taught us how to make the most of every day and always be grateful and always be kind. She gave our lives a different type of purpose and for that I was all, will always be grateful. We need to continue to raise awareness. Quite often, organ and tissue donation is not talked about unless it affects you personally. We need to make sure we sign the online registry and make our family and friends aware of our wishes. We need to make sure to help our fellow humans and all 114,000 people on the organ waiting list. Unfortunately, an average of 22 people die each day waiting for an organ transplant. However, we are headed in the right direction. In 2017, a record-breaking 34,769 life-saving organ transplants were performed in the U.S. thanks to the generosity of donors. 568 organs were transplanted through the UW system alone. Over 60% of Wisconsin residents, 18 and over, are registered to be donors. Medical research continues to improve, and we will continue to break records. 
We still have a long way to go, but together we can continue to make a difference. Thank you for your time. Thank you for showing up here today. Thank you for listening to Emmy's story and supporting organ tissue and cornea donation. Please continue to share the story and raise awareness. And above everything else, always remember to be kind and take care of others. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Noah. We want to make sure and say thank you to our nearly 3 million Wisconsin neighbors who have said yes and registered as organ tissue and eye donors. We appreciate the efforts of our Wisconsin b, &B partners who made it possible for 98% of registered donors in Wisconsin each and every day as part of their job. Together we are united in a mission to save and heal lives and create a culture where donation is embraced as a fundamental human responsibility. We ask that you help us continue to educate our fellow Wisconsinites about the need for more registered organ tissue and eye donors. April is National Donate Life Month and a great time for us to remember this important work. So throughout April, please make it your personal mission to speak to at least one person about organ, tissue, and eye donation. And if they're not already registered, ask them to, to consider taking that step to formalize their decision. Rebecca Hilson, Hilson with UW Organ and Tissue Donation will tell us a little more about the program. Thank you, Rebecca. Good morning and happy Donate Life Month. Um, Mother Nature didn't get the message though, so I will make this short. I wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of the nurses and hospital staff at, um, here at Beaver Dam Community Hospital. Uh, we all know that they have one job, right, is to save and improve lives. And when that doesn't happen and can't happen because a life is lost, those same people are the ones that make certain that families are offered the opportunity for organ tissue and eye donation. So just um, a quick round of applause for all the nurses and hospital staff, please. If you're as cold as I am, I'm going to keep this short. Um, I will be around if anybody has specific questions about donation, I'd be happy to answer those. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you all for joining us here today. This month we'll have a quilt on display in the main lobby of the hospital that was put together to remember some of the past donators of tissue, organs, and eyes. Each square was made by the donor's family. Please check it out if you have the chance. We also have wristbands, pins, and other materials available for those who are interested. Again, thank you and happy um, National Donate Life Month. Thank you.